Hey, it's been a little while since we've had a video and today we're going to do a bit of a product review because we've got some equipment to somewhat rescue bought this bag from home depot for like 30 bucks because you're going to need something to carry this bad boy in basically just made my own kit for this worn winch now they make two of these this is the 88 uh 5000 they make a 110 version and they have a 24 volt rechargeable version. So for most folks, the other one's probably better, but it costs almost twice as much. This one's only like 249 or so dollars. Bought mine at four wheel parts. You can get it on Amazon, Northern Tool, um, probably several other places, honestly. But I like the 110 volt because we have this Ford truck that has that inverter. These 110 volt worn winches, the portable winch, require 1200 watt um, of output to run the motor at 10 amps i think is what it's rated for if you look at the specs so we're in good shape to run this off of our truck one thing to keep in mind like it shows you if you're pulling the full 1000 pound capacity you can only run it for one minute and then i guess it may shut off due to um, heat and then you've got a 30 minute cool down time. So this isn't like a work all day long kind of winch, but it's more for stuff like this. Like I need to get this trailer drug out of here, um, but because of the limbs and stuff, I don't want to back my truck this far. So I'm just going to drag it out a little way so I can put it on the hitch. Also, just for my own uh, personal preferences, um, just kind of kitted this up with a toe strap, a snatch block and some chain. Also, for those of you who don't know this, snatch block, basically if you run your cable through here and then back to something you double the pulling power of the winch so by going out and back you've got 2,000 pounds of pull capacity also a mistake a lot of people make is they worry about how much the thing weighs that they're pulling and that has nothing to do with the pulling capacity of the winch because you're not raising it up off the ground if you're just trying to drag it somewhere so that's it it's pretty small um, fit like I said in a normal size bag doesn't weigh much so easy to carry around problem is I forgot to bring an extension cord and that little pigtail is not going to reach anywhere right, let's try it this way Sabi nailed it guess before we get too excited to use our new winch we might see if we can get this tractor to start Gas has been in here a while, but maybe it's worth a try.
actually pretty fast. Like I fully recognize I've only used this thing the one time, but it gets my seal of approval. You know, there could be some complaints. The pulling speed is like 13.8 feet per minute, which is about a little, well, I don't know, a few feet longer than what I actually pulled it. But actually a perfect speed because if you're doing something really careful, like loading up ramps and big heavy tractors and things or cars, you're not going to want it to be super fast. I do want to point out it's a variable speed trigger. Wasn't sure if that kind of showed up in the video all that well. It's a pretty simple operation. You press it this way and pull the trigger for out. Press it on the other side and pull the trigger for in. And then you notice I had this hooked to a chain on the front of the trailer. One thing I would love to see is a free spool option so you don't have to wait to wind it out, which a lot of winches do have. But for a $250 item that can make these projects happen all by yourself, certainly approved and is a good investment. I know this is a little different video than what we normally do here, but I'd like to keep you guys guessing. But I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.